I'm back. And we've got half our turn left here. Uh, both of these two already went, which is a massive disappointment in terms of making progress on this turn. Just leave it to me. I'm gonna move Alex up here. He's got a grenade as well. Take a good look at your surroundings. But if he gets close enough to this guy without getting completely lit up. Oh, they're afraid. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's... I was too slow there. Fuck. Wasn't close enough. Alright, that sucks. He's in a bad spot. Um, can I maneuver the Edelweiss around Largo here? Revive a Stay strong. My engineer there. Holy shit, this is this is bad. A lot of fucking bullets, dude. Where are the tanks even supposed to go from here? I guess maybe we can drive it down those little steps there? Weird. Way ahead of you. Meep meep. Oh shit, all it has is a flamethrower. Doesn't do me any fucking good. Cannot enter. Watch out for gunfire from your flank. Uh, okay. Where shall we end up? Well, that's shocking. Now you can. Uh Try to act as soon as you spot a target. Okay. Fire. Ah, I see. Boy, this is, uh, this is rough. Richter, what's up? I have news for you, Richter. I have news for you. I uh, heard from Jay Hit that you did a spin today, and my uh, space on the wheel came up as the one that was selected as the victor. Uh, but I don't really have a game that I want Jay Hit to play, so I am uh, requesting that you provide the game for me. Just watch this. Can we get any damage in on this with oh, uh, no.
Nope. Nope. I don't have anything. tried. I have drawn the tank's ire. Nice job, Alex. Two hit, two hits, just completely whiff there. Three would be the actual first Kingsfield. Yeah, he mentioned that. I'm like kind of, sort of, loosely aware of what it is. That sounds fine to me. I don't have any issues with that choice. Can I really not shoot over this? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna go right into it unless I shoot way high. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think you're going to be a little disappointed in it. I've seen a little bit of it in discussions about Souls games. Uh, it's nothing to write home about, but I also, uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you for being interested in it, for sure. Well, at least it hit. Try to do that one more time. I'll do my very best. Numbers. <laughs> we got guts on our side. Watch out for gunfire from your flanks. Yeah, not just the looks. From what I've heard, not just the looks. Dude, aiming at this thing sucks. I come. Yeah, I should have known. Okay, now 
I'm set for another round. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not another round this turn, so that doesn't really help me. This fucking wall is, like, just high enough to be a giant pain in the ass. God damn it. Keep a watch for gunfire from atop the cliff. You gotta be shitting me, man. Watch out for gunfire from your flank. Just leave it to me. I can see the Ragnite spot there. Just, um, leave it to me. Yeah. There's a ton of them. No sweat. Here I go. Oh, I guess those were not. Okay. Well, that could be bad for those two. Way ahead of you. Oh, fuck, I picked the wrong tank. Fight is a clusterfuck. You can get grenade launchers? Hey, curiosity is a perfectly fine reason. I, it's better than not having a pick at all. Alright, buddy, with all your guts, I'm gonna need you to fucking hit this bunker. And I don't know how Largo did it. What traits do you have? Oh, they're afraid. 
Wow. Good enough for me. Fuck that thing. Thank God. Fuck me, dude. a one and done for the series. I am only going to be playing this game right now. Their gunfire is exceptionally dangerous. I'm on. Here I come. Man down. Everybody be careful. Just, um, leave it to me. Oopsie! I dropped my bullets! Well, think you can flip through? Does it seem like you can break through? Yeah, I broke through. Is it going to let me hit this? Yes. That's at least progress. Yes, right away. I don't think I'll need this anymore, but as I'm running past it, I might as well. Wait here. Yeah. Fetch the balls. 
All right, this mission is rough, man. Where shall we aim now? Just watch this. I should have split the lancers, but I didn't. So. Fetch top balls. I see these arrows on the side here that probably have something to do with. Oh wait, am I dumb? I'll do my very best. Numbers. Oh. <laughs> We got guts on no, ourselves. I just remembered why I didn't pick to move. Because they're blocking the way. You literally can't get around them where they're at. Well. Everybody have it easier with you gone. That's fine. Just, just get out of the way a bit so I can maneuver the tanks. Sure to Wait, right here. Right I can't do it this turn, though, so... Let's see what they do here. Fun. Boy, that shock trooper got close. Great. That shock trooper is also going to get absolutely annihilated. Oh! Alright, you know what? Never mind. I think I'm about to get absolutely annihilated. If he can do that again... Right, the tank can blow that up. Okay, we're safe. Holy shit. That flamethrower is good. <laughs> if you can get a shock trooper in like that. Because I just have sort of weird positioning around the corner of the... The watchtower there. Wow. That was buck wild. Seriously hit me with an attack down there? <sighs> 87 50 oh because of attack down well Keep a watch for gunfire from atop the cliff. don't even waste your ammo then Ugh, who am i gonna have deal with this shit oh you know what that actually really only hurt alicia well, i guess alicia and nancy they got they took a lot of damage everybody else has mostly healed theirs up and homer didn't get hit at all he was far enough around the corner. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do this, so, this so I don't risk a flame, an immediate flamethrower counterattack. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, fuck you, goodbye. Sweet dreams. Man down, everybody, be careful. All right. I don't. Fully exactly no. Here we go. I think theoretically I could just cannot enter. It's injured. Remember to use rag me. Don't give them The tanks might have to wait here until I can get them down below, honestly. I'm on my way. But like, yeah, okay, so infantry units can go down here. Keep a watch for gunfire from atop the cliff. 
And we can get crouch cover in here, too. Hostile sighted. Yeah, I wasn't even aware there was anime for an anime for this game. Good shot. I'll probably have the Largo and he still has attack down. I'm on my way. Probably have Hector just try to do as much damage as he can to this thing this turn. Can't kill it by himself, but he can get close. I'll do my very best. Here I come. With it hurt like that, I might be able to move Largo up through. I don't know how lucky I'll be if I try to get this one too. Defend the perimeter, soldiers. Not very. Not very. Oh, run, buddy. We're here to help. <sighs> that fucking defense down totally fucked me. God damn it. Yeah, Lancers don't actually care about those. That literally tickled him. How much damage can we get here? Jesus, really? Oh, you can target the gun individually? I was trying to get him over there to, it's gonna be all right. Leave it to me. give ammo to Largo, Please, not Largo, to Hector, because Hector could kill the tank this turn. But now look what I'm stuck with. 29. 29. Fuck, man. And the Edelweiss literally just can't see it, so it can't help. We'll see what the tank does on its turn, I guess. It might just shoot at these guys again. We'll see. I'm just gonna save my well. That's not true. That scout I can see that scout over there. Maybe. Or maybe the game lied to me and I don't have a sight line on it, because it's fucking behind the tank. Sweet dude. I'm gonna try to scare this guy out of hiding. That's it. That's all I'm going to do this turn. This map is rough. The frustrating thing is I actually feel like I'm making decent progress, but I... I still don't know what they expect me to do with the tanks. It's so unclear to me what we can even do about them.
Oh, you fucking dick. How dare you not crouch in my presence? Who do you think you are? Sweet dreams. Just keep up this pace. Was there another guy or is that guy crouching? That scout elite. How's their manpower now? I want that trooper elite, but Yeah, they yeah, are crouching. Both of those two are still crouching. Just watch this. I don't care about defense down as long as my attack isn't gimped. You're done. Gimp is a bad word. Lowered. I'll do my very best. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Definitely wanted to get crouched a little faster than I did just now. Fuck you, tank. Alright. How do I push in on these losers now? See how far I can get. Ain't no stopping me. Enemy sighted. Grenade throwing range is doo doo. Go down. It's doo doo. Gonna do about this guy. He is so far back there. I'm on my way now. Enemy spotted. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh okay, we have a problem. We have a big problem. Just watch this. That seriously whiffed? I'm going in. Cover me. Fuck. Just watch this. Can I not shoot him from here?
There you go. Boy, I didn't even stand him up with that, eh? Okay. All right. All right. All right. You won't even let me shoot him from here? That's... Not cool. It's like raining steel! Make sure to be my Ah, uh, no! No! Let me crouch! Fucking... I got attacked down too. Oh my god, it's the worst. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. She still has attack down as well. the best I could hope for on this turn. Oh, I got absolutely lit the ever-loving fuck up this round. Fuck you. You asshat. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo? Got a little overzealous there. Oh boy. Just leave it to me. Ready or not. Oh, I can't occupy it. Fuck. Well, Alex is probably going to be dead. I didn't even think about that.
Oh, did they not have reinforcements come in there? Oh. Oh, that's so lucky. Really? Congrats. That doesn't surprise me. Let's do this thing. Ain't no stopping me. Ah. Uh... Fuck oh, you. No. Oh, I didn't hit that back guy. It's fine. That was worth it. I cannot believe this guy is crouching again. Oh my god. There was that was so weird. I just tried to crouch and end the action and it like gave him a full fucking clip against me there. What the fuck, man? That sucked. I was hmm weird. I'm on my way now. Really? Triple question or question mark question mark question mark. I don't want to throw a grenade at him because I'm right here too. All right, fine. I'll back off and I'll fucking throw a grenade and hopefully not blow up Nancy. And hopefully not blow up me. Wow, I think I managed to like fucking literally skirt that perfectly there. This thing, this dude sucks. This dude sucks and he makes me mad. I'm on my way now. Fuck you. I did it. Oh my god. Insanity. This mission is insanity. Watch your back up there. Rosie's fucking crazy. She'll kill all of you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Fucking attack down, dude. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. <sighs> that was a waste. Keep an eye on the distance between you and them. 
Total waste. Every time. Every time. I can't even headshot this dude and kill him. Fine, just blast him back. Boom. Fuck you, dude. Asshole. Their gunfire is exceptionally dangerous. I'll do my very best. All right, Hector, dome this dude. Missed. I tried. Someday. I mean, I could just let Rosie go again for all I give a shit. She did the same thing. Nice. Although Ain't no stopping me. he got fucking hits in on her still, so it seems like bullshit. Come on. Got him. Man down. Everybody be careful. Well, there you go. Must not have had to grind as much, eh, lol? She does not have sightline on that location, so... I'm gonna have her back off. New prey sighted. Her value is pretty much done now. There's an enemy packed in the void that gives 200 AP. Did I know that? No. I try to spend as little time in that place as possible, because it's usually a clusterfuck. Oh, this poor scout. Alicia has 28 hit points. attack down. Too bad I didn't come up here to attack you fuckers, eh? Eat shit. Oh. Just got me right out the gate. Oh my god, really? Shit. The status effects uh, nullifying combat effectiveness are real rough, dude. Real fucking rough.
I wonder how close I can get to this tower before it starts shooting. Well, think you can flip through? Make good use of Their gunfire is exceptionally dangerous. I'm going in. Cover me. A lot closer than I expected. Someday, someday the hatred will stop. It's a miss. Fall back now. There's a fucking tank up there too. Watch out for gunfire from your flanks. We're here to help. How have they still not shot at me? Make sure to provide ample support for your foot soldiers. Enemy sighted. Really? Can I just take this? Don't stay in one place. Spread out. Keep a watch for gunfire from atop the cliff. It's like raining steel. Okay. I guess they're aimed more at this chunk right here. How the fuck do I get my tanks to help with this shit, though? I'm on my way. Numbers. <laughs> we got guts on our side. I'm gonna have Hector take out this. It did nine damage to him. Yeah, he moved forward as well. Just watch this. If I would have known there was a tank still ahead, I probably would have grabbed an extra Lancer instead of, uh... Instead of an extra scout. In fact, I might have... Who's still back there? I totally got it. I'm gonna have Nancy retreat. I'm gonna grab one of my other Lancers. Actually, I think I have two slots open, so I might grab two. I think at least I can get from camp to camp here. Give it all you've got, soldiers. Hector and Largo both moved. Yeah, there's a tank and a scout there in the back that we've seen. Boy, setting the shamrock up with the fucking flamethrower was the worst decision I could have made this to go around. Holy shit. Uh, I'm gonna save my movement. I'm uh, pretty sure that I'm gonna need to spend two on the Edelweiss to position it just right so that it can um, get a smoke right in front of where the the our ba our new base, our forward base is at there. And they've got dudes spawning in here too, which probably won't last very long if they try to advance. They didn't even try to advance. All right, our heroic, our heroic lancers have arrived at the forward location. 
All of them are full HP, so they can start. Uh, the only one who's not going to be full HP is Largo, because I have one more speedrun strat to employ. Boy, I am... Yeah, I see it right there. Largo, you think you can wing a shot in through there? Tank damage is permanent, so if you could, if you could, doesn't look like you can. All right, how about you just hit this crouching motherfucker for me then? Hey, you did. Nice. We can we can eliminate him really quickly now, which is really good. All right, squad, what's up? We're just gonna wait here for a tick. Um, test the water, see really quick about. How far forward we can move. I might have Largo stick back. I think I can put that smoke basically like right here. The only thing that the only thing about that is I don't want to do that before I've had a chance to try to gun this trooper elite down here. That really quick, just like this. I know it's a long shot, Juno, but two shots would be really great here. here. <sighs> Alright. Fair enough, I guess. I don't know why I didn't use laser beam. Alright, laser beam. Show her how it's done. First shot. No contest. Here we go. Gotta love nature. Come on, let's get this fucker turned around. There we go. You know what, I might lob this thing as far forward as I can, just to give me as much cover as possible. Okay, you know what, never mind. That's way farther than I thought it could go. Fuck that. I'm gonna shoot it literally right on top of this thing right here. Yeah? Oh! Oh, it's plural. Oh, it's plural. Oh, no. Why? Why? Not out of the smoke yet? Hello? There we go. Three? That's not bad. On a heavy? Oh, that's the tank gun. Five. Okay. We can do that. We can make that happen. I'll probably miss. Oh, come on. You did fine. You? Sure. Ugh. Largo lover didn't pop. Come on, he was right there. Keep that cover fire coming. Hit, please. Jan missed. Feels bad. Large job, red mage. Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. Depending on the rest of your team, it can be really great, or it can not be super good it it's honestly 
it gives you access to a lot of things that can be really helpful in small doses, but overall it's not like a super strong option. I'm just gonna shoot. I mean, that still counted, so fuck it. I'll do my very best. Who needs a damage estimation, am I right? Here I come. Fuck me, I keep missing, dude. Just try and stop me. I want to move forward to the right on in the inside of the This might be a terrible idea. Don't stay in one place. Spread out. Or it's an amazing idea. These idiots must have a death wish. Oh shit, can we sneak behind here? Oh yo. Yeah, you could do a lot worse than, than Red Mage. Um, but you could do better. That's that's the thing about Red Mage. Die for me, sweetie. I can go another round. Great. I can get lost in the muscles. Keep an eye on your equipment. I do love it when Jan can go another round. Yeah, this is going to be a much more efficient way to take out this medium tank. I'm on my way. Yeah, it'll do higher damage. Because it can use damage spells. You're going down. The key to doing higher damage is having access to damage spells. Now I'm set for another round. I love these extra shot procs, though. These are great. Keep, Keep it up, squad. I have Can you break rods with a red mage? I No, I don't believe so. Just watch this. I don't think red mage is a rod breaking job. All right, we got Margo to safety, too. My real question is, do I bother sending in a scout here? I could send in either one of these two. I don't think I do. I think I just let him hang back for now. These four, well, that's not true. I was going to say these four knuckleheads should be able to handle it, but honestly, that's patently false. I'll send laser okay. beam in. She should be able to make it through the... Spoken around the corner here. That guy's crouching. <laughs> I just want her to help provide support here if we get into trouble. Kind of wish I had a. Uh, a mechanic in Alicia's position right now, but it's fine. All right, I think we managed to kind of turn this mission around a little bit there. It was looking bad, but now it looks fine. We go again. We go again. Yeah, I see all that shuffle, shuffle, shuffle is kind of what I was trying to prep for here. Oh, the tank moved forward. Well, it's going to be harder to hit now. I haven't seen their ace either in this mission yet, which makes me concerned. Out. Shit, I picked Alicia knowing that there's a fucking mine in my way. I'm such a dumbass. God damn it. No way she fucking gets past this thing. Stay calm and get it done. Maybe she can? Oh my god, that's Don't so lucky. Enemy unit spotted. 
Shock Trooper Elite. No! I just wanted the wall to not be in the way, you fucking piece of shit. Get blasted, dickhead. Is that really so much to ask? All right, laser beam, it's up to you. Now. Incredible. Why do I even have any other units? Oh God, oh God. That was a lot more movement than I wanted. Captain Nonenkoff. Nonenkoff? 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 All right, well this is Back to not being super great. Alright, Jan. You have the honors. Oh my god, the defense down. Stop! Stop shooting me! Die for me, sweetie. Lol? Sorry, honey. Nice. Dude, that scout is a fucking problem. Just try and stop me. Is he crouched? No. I see one. Fool. Go down. <laughs> All right. Just Don't mind my lancers just running around headshotting dudes. If uh, if I wouldn't have been a idiot and if I would have just stopped way. Alicia where I had her and let her laser down that one dude without getting attacked down. She would be the one taking care of all of these enemy units for me. But since I am an idiot, and I didn't do what I was supposed to do, uh, instead I have to headshot dudes with lancers. Alright, my orders are crouch. Nice job, Hector. You're a real... You're a real stand-up guy. Oh, man. Between the units that I have left, I have to figure out a way to get two dudes who are crouching to not be crouching and blow them up. And Lancers don't have grenades. Yeah, he gave me the old attack down. I kind of figured he would, which is why I'm going to blow up his barricade. You know, I should have just shot him anyway. Oh, but he's standing now. That's good. Just try and stop me. Hi. You got it, Han. Die for me, sweetie. Fuck. Didn't get the hit there on the head. It's okay though. I'm on my way. I have 
Don't miss his head, Hector. He did. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You guys have ammo left? Hector's out. Walter's out. All right, Jan. You have to kill this guy, otherwise I can't win this turn. You sure? It has to be headshot. <laughs> what a turn. What a fucking turn. That was about... I mean, it wasn't super optimal, but it was about as min-max as I could have done it. Just try and stop me! Whew. Operation complete. We took their base. Dude, that was weird to lose my tanks halfway through that fight. That made it go a lot slower. I'll take a C rank on that. I feel like that's not too bad, honestly. Uh, seized a flamethrower, it looks like. I got a medal for Valor for Merit in combat. I don't imagine what I could have possibly done in that fight to earn that, but fine. Isara. Hi, Rosie. How can I help you? You have already. You mean the doll I made? I didn't know you kept it. You said it was a protective charm, didn't you? I still owe you one from the feast, so... Anything you want, just name it. Let me think. You know what? I'd like to hear you sing, Rosie. Huh? You want me to sing? Yes. You told me before that you always enjoyed it. I'd really love to hear you. I bet you're great. Okay, then. It's a promise. <gasps> Isara. Down! No, Isara, don't you die on me, Isara. I still haven't even had the chance to say thank you yet. Sure you did. Now we're friends. Sora. No. Sorry. Your dream. I want it. I so want it. To make it real. Just for you, Wilkes. My dream? What do you mean? You said... 
that you wanted to... to fly. Remember? You wanted... wings... so we could... see the... the sky together. Real soonies, I promise. Isara? Isara, the dreams you left, it's up to us to build them. Hey, kid. I'd like to sing for you, if that's okay. I mean, after all, promise is a promise, right? So listen up. This is yours. You stood always smiling, ever quiet, ever tender. And I, a lost child, always frightened. I remember that you came and found me blinded by. Shed tears. The tears we cry are echoes that tell what tomorrow can hold, and I. Chapter 12, The Fight for Bruel. Damn, man. Well, I'll be honest, I uh, did not really expect that to happen. Yeah, right. I, I did just make that save, so... Fuck.
That's a huge fucking bummer, honestly. I don't remember you saying anything about it, but... It doesn't really matter. Sega. In chat? Or amongst yourselves? Because I don't remember that at all. I'll teach you retreat today. Use it to command an injured unit to pull out of combat. Well, what is your decision? Very good. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. You know what? I should do all this stuff after I go to the headquarters. I should do it in the opposite order. You are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. Yeah, it's been weird since I first got him, which was the first time I went and saw her. It's always weird. I have no idea why she has guns. Very strange. The medals? Sure. Guns? Don't get it. A victory claimed amid losses. After a heated struggle, the 3rd Regiment took the sanguine shore of Marbury, the, Emperor, the Empire's final holding in Northern Gallia, surrounded by sheer cliffs. Marbury is a natural citadel that has proved impossible to fell in previous bids staged by the Gallian army. The militia's strategy hinged upon a newly developed form of smokescreen grenade to mask their approach and baffle Imperial gunmen. The inventor of those life-saving grenades, Corporal Isara Gunther 16, was a tank pilot for Squad 7 and promised to be one of Gallia's great minds in engineering, until Imperial fire at the end of his, this mission claimed her life, her loss is a blow to the nation and to her squad, we saw her buried in the war cemetery near the capital. War Orphan Count Soars As EW2 continues to expand in intensity and scale, the number of war orphans has climbed to new record highs, according to a recent study by EWARF, the European War Orphan Rescue Fund, and NGO. The number of children who have lost parents is rivaled only by the members who the number who have lost access to educational facilities despite an expressed desire to learn. 
Bali is no exception to this continent-wide trend, though its parliament voiced plans for securing basic education and job training in a recent session. EWARF has approached leaders from each of Europa's nations, calling for the establishment not just of orphanages, but of a full infrastructure to support these children as they grow into self-supporting adults. Sup? Come back.
think this would be a little more interesting if you could rotate these to fit more different configurations, but I kind of get why you can't. Blast. Ooh. Yeah. That could be good. I think that's the first one that I've looked at, and I'm like, I can imagine scenarios where I would want that. The only question that I have with that is how much does it cost? Three. See, I mean, I mean, does great outweigh uh, okay the niche use case of this is like you have a lancer who maybe has another lancer squad mate but they're already out of ammo and you can't fix that so like if you've got the extra ap you could burn it on demolition boost for the character who has ammo in order to like guarantee wipe out a tank on a turn but like i Three, three, I guess CP, whatever, APCP. Three is, you have to be able to like, you have to be able to out DPS the value of having three more individual shots from one Lancer or be in a scenario where you can't get three more shots out of an, ind uh, out of an individual Lancer. They're low on ammo or you don't have any other ones or whatever, so and your tank can't help, but anyway. Uh, I think I want to butts around with some of the, I don't remember what blue means. So 350, 20, 48, D. Wait, so this is just straight up better, but it doesn't have the defense down effect, I see. But better aim. So what about the... Okay, so blue means upgrades. Red means downgrades. Got it. So this is blues. Have I just been sitting on better weapons? All the shit that I've been... These, one, these R versions are from the queen. Not the queen. Princess. Uh, yeah. Well, the, the two people in tanks don't need to fuck with that. Boy, wait, she has a D aim weapon equipped. Holy shit, laser beam. Why are you an animal? Oh, I actually, no. I just bought this and it automatically put it on Alicia for me. Uh, I think the rest of you are at least. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'll let the scouts run the defense down. I don't think I bought an engineer weapon this, this go around, did I? Oh, wait, they would also have the defense down. Well, we're going to change that. Because I either want them to... How many? Oh, I've got three. Perfect. Let's just swap... Uh, better range of aim, but less damage. Hmm. 
Wait. Better range for less damage? Pretty sure I've been getting these from the princess. But they're... But they don't do good damage, so... These I should put on a couple of people, though. That's an easy pickup. Although, you do lose the attack down. What do you have? Metal head, frail body, stage fright, panicky. Starting dash? What is that? Oh, I can't look at potential info? What? Do I have to... Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Firing accuracy is boosted during the first three turns of the operation. Huh. How does Kamikaze? Accuracy and evasion receive a boost when HP drops to a single digit. Insane. Insane. Oh wait, they don't have the effect when equipped anyway. Oh man. We'll do that. That's good enough for me. All my scouts have the defense down, including Welkin. Uh, most of my shock troopers have attack down, but a couple people have the princess equipment. All my lancers are sticking with the, the big booms instead of the farther range from the princess. And I hooked up all my engineers with, instead of giving them the, what is it, defense down? Yeah, instead of the engineers having the defense down, I gave them the, the princess gear. And my scouts have better range, lower damage. Prioritize that. Or better accuracy. And I think better range. Better accuracy and range, but lower damage overall. Which is fine, because like I want them to get headshots and one-shot shit. I don't care if it does 10 more damage to personnel. Like, that doesn't... If it's not one hit and done, then that's not an effective turn for my snipers, so. Bronze Arms of Gallia, squad that has defeated more than 250 enemies in the defense of their homeland. Cool. The Marbury Shore, one of several stretches of open shore north of the Thousand Industrial Region. The Empire turned the sheer cliffs that surrounded the broad, hilly center of this inlet into an extremely effective stronghold. Massive cannons and thickly shielded machine gun emplacements lined the rock face, barring all entry, while fortifications carved directly into the cliffside further contributed to making this base utterly unassailable. This bloody beach marked the end of the road for countless Gallian soldiers sent in the many attempts to oust the Empire from the area, each of them failing to breach the base's ironclad defenses. The Feast of All Spirits, a long-standing tradition in Gallia, this festival is now an official holiday. The spirits of the Earth, driven away by the Dark Sun Calamity, were again able to return to Europa after the Valkyrian Conquest. This day is said to mark the beginning of their renewed exchanges of love during the peace that followed. Major practices for celebrating the day included the exchange of gifts between lovers. 
In the past, presents were given to anyone the giver felt close to, but recent times have seen it become a day for couples in love to mimic the spirits in exchanging tokens of their effects. Darkson Good Luck Dolls. Traditionally made by Darkson people as gifts for loved ones, these dolls are thought to protect the bear from harm and are kept on one's person at all times. The human-shaped dolls made of thatched fisher grass wear shawls bearing the Darkson pattern. Additional clothing and facial expressions are added using scrap cloth and colored thread. Though the basic doll is of traditional design, makers are free to add their own touches and decorations to make the gift more personal. Bunch of new shit I researched. What is this? Oh, I, this is the thing that the Empire was shooting at me. Grenade launcher fit under the muzzles of most Imperial issued rifles. Yeah, shit sucks. This is the flamethrower attachment. Yeah, that was, I think, the first mission that actually had heavy tanks. He's peaceful by nature. He will not, however, hesitate to defend the ones he loves, such as his Darkson sister, who often faces harsh discrimination. Uh, though the operation cost her her life, Squad 7 survivors report Isara's actions up to and following the Marbury mission as a powerful boost to Squad Solidarity. Prone to wild mood swings, his self-confidence can come and go at a moment's notice. Because cooking helps calm him, he hopes to open a restaurant one day. Boy, I think that's everything for this chapter. Let's begin the strategy meeting. Should be able to get up to unlocking the next mission, but probably won't have enough time to do it. First off, I need to ask. Lieutenant, how is Squad 7's morale? It's been three weeks since we lost Isara. We're all still in shock, Captain. Personally, it still doesn't seem real to me. I can't believe she's really gone. I see. Nevertheless, you have new orders. I sent in a request to General Damon to allow this op and received full clearance. The Galleon Militia's next task is to liberate a small border town called Brule. The regiment will surround the area while your squad enters and secures the plaza. Any questions, Lieutenant? No, Captain. I'm taking temporary personal leave, but I wish you the best of luck out there. Also, I'd like to introduce the new tank pilot assigned to the Edelweiss. I'll do the best I can, Welkin. Kreese! 
He recently volunteered to be a pilot. I'm hereby assigning him to Squad 7. Isara inherited the Edelweiss from her father. I'd like to take over where she left off. I'm still nowhere near as skilled as she was, but I'll do my very best. Thank you, Kreis. That concludes our meeting. I look forward to good news from Brule. Dismissed. Bowson was lost, and Gregor with it, in a warrior's death. What comes next, Maximilian? Things aren't looking very good these days. The Empire claimed the earliest victories, and most of Gallia with them. Their struggles since have bested the detachments holding each location. Meaning, we reconcentrate our forces? Yes. Send word to gather our armies on the Nagyar Plain. Silvaria, the time has come to show these rubes your power. Sir. By my Valkyrian blood, I swear the Gallian forces will bow before you. <laughs> I believe it. They won't last long once you get serious. And that's good news for me and the prospects for Firald's reinstatement. Once we conquer Gallia, you shall have independence for your homeland, Jaeger. But until then, you have no country of your own. You shall serve us with your very life. I'm well aware, Your Grace. The fate of the Empire is no concern of mine. But Maximilian, you will be victorious. That's the only reason I'm fighting this war. We're back. Back to where it all started. It's been five months since we left Brule. Now, all but one of us is back to make this home again. Captain Barat said she specifically requested this operation from General Damon. She said that? Yes. You know how she feels about him, but she begged him to give us Brule. She wanted us to remember why we're fighting. To help us get past Isara's death. <laughs> For right now, let's stop thinking and just move forward. Let's take back our... Take back Isara's home. Again, I had to return one more time. But the area we saw last time, no matter what I try, the door won't open anymore. What was written on those walls turns all of Europa's history on its head. It's staggering. It began, Welcome, Sister Valkyria. They hide the truth from all but their own. The door won't let me in. Given what's on the walls, maybe it opens only for the Valkyrie. Maximilian got through, but he had Selvaria with him. She must have opened it for him. But wait. The door was closed when we first arrived. That cutscene said a lot while saying quite literally nothing at all. 
That was honestly impressive. Okay, well, those cutscenes didn't last very long. And if we start this mission, I... Well... You know what I'll do? We'll do this. I'm going to start it, and I'm going to do deployment, and we'll get a look at the map, but we're not going to play any turns. We'll just save right away so we can jump right into the mission on Friday. You will now be briefed on the operation. The enemy is entrenched in a defensive formation throughout Central Brule and the Windmill Plaza. Squad 7 will enter from this location and cut a path into the town center. Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. Expect the fighting along the main street to be exceptionally fierce. We also have information suggesting that they've placed snipers at various key points across town. Even if you don't see anyone in the immediate area, you may still be open to sniper file fire. Be careful where you stop. Okay. Okay. That's a nice mix. That should be fine. All right, we're set to begin. Good luck. That didn't take that long. Let's see what we got here. Isara, we're taking back our home, East. Squad Seven, move out. All right. Here we are. Sorry, but I'm a little scared. That's right. This is your first time out in battle, isn't it? Kreese, combat is always a scary thing. I don't think anyone should ever forget that. I feel like getting used to the horror of war means losing hope. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay, then. Let's begin. Everybody, watch out for enemy snipers. Did I deploy? Okay. I was like, did I deploy a leash? I did. Okay. Ooh, boy. Look at all this shit. There's a little fire and smoke that's animated right here on the map. That's neat. And there's looks like there's smoke on a couple of the spots. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, those snipers are very far away. Holy shit. Okay. Ugh, we have a cannon. You can see a sniper ace way downfield who has sight lines on three people currently. Oh my god. What was it? Mashed potato? What was it? Mash the hunt. Okay, gotcha. There's another cannon there. Oh my goodness. These. 
Yas Noah the Hound. There's two aces. A tank ace, which we've never seen before. Uh, okay. There's one camp here. It's kind of off to the side. Some grass here along the east side. Got some grass here to provide some cover as well as some trees. A few sets of sandbags. There's a tower in this base that we can climb and utilize. Some anti-tank barricading set up here. lot of it on the main thoroughfare right in here. I saw, oh, there it is, right here. This sniper, I, th I think this sniper is in the tower, which is why they have, well, yeah, the only way that they would have a sight line past this building that they are behind is if they were up in that tower. It's a little tricky to tell, but you can kind of see that it's elevated off the map to represent that. I noticed that with Marina in our last uh, mission. I uh, My initial assessment of this is I think the very first thing I'm going to do is push the Shamrock forward. The Shamrock can maybe get in range of some of these enemies right here um, and deal a decent amount of... Uh, lay down some suppressive uh, flamethrower. Uh, maybe just like wipe these two units out right out the gate it does put it in a little scary range of this um, This tank and this uh, Yeah, this this cannon has a sight line on It looks like just Largo right now But I think that's because there's a truck right here obstructing what it's its other sight line which would be kind of through it and right down to the Edelweiss right here. So I think that after I maneuver the Shamrock kind of around the buildings here and hopefully get it in range to work on this, what I'd like to do is push the Edelweiss forward enough that I can get an angle on this gun and maybe take care of it before it can do much damage to me. I will take a lot of uh, pain from this on the, su the subsequent round, but I think that's okay. I almost wish that Hector was deployed basically where Claudia was and I could have Claudia covered here and the two of them them can move forward and lay down some pain on the, uh, the tank here, but it's okay. That's not a huge deal. I am nervous about how strong that tank is considering it's named. But, I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. Like, we can send our heavier units that aren't susceptible to getting headshot and immediately dying down the main road here to deal with a lot of the troubles here. But as soon as we're kind of having to work on this, if we can't get rid of it relatively quickly... Oh, man. You know? Hmm. Uh, these... These heavy AT cannons are a problem. I'm not sure what their firing range looks like, but it's certainly concerning that they have sight lines all the way. The, the, the combat field is very open here. Okay, well, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, save right here at the start of the mission. So if you wanna see this mission play out, be here on Friday. Friday, we will start it up right away and jump right back into this. So that's it for tonight. Today's Tuesday, so tomorrow is our normal night off. And then Thursdays, uh, hopefully making progress to World 2. Reuniting with Gallif. Maybe get to meet Castle, potentially. That might be a bit of a stretch. We'll try to get to meet Castle. I guess we would have to do that to... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but that's what we're doing on Thursday. More for Job Fiesta, and this will be back on Friday. Saturday and Sunday is more Yakuza 6, so... Honestly, making pretty good headway in that game as well. 
we're a few chapters through the story, so that's good as well. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Yeah, because of a baby. Made a lot of progress because of that damn baby. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed. I I still really like this game. It definitely made me fucking sad today, but uh, be curious. I you know obviously I think that that's a moment and it's a sad moment, but I think that I'm really invested in how this game continues to evolve and how the story goes. So we'll see. Have a good rest of your night, everybody, and I will see you guys later. Yeah, being sad is better than being indifferent. I agree. I don't know how you could be indifferent about that particular character death, though. I feel like it's I feel like it's quite uh, it's quite emotional. Obviously, I didn't really like. I'm not a particularly emotional person. I can tell you how I feel. You'll just have to take my word for it. But like, I I didn't really know what to say. I was I was just sad. I know you mean character deaths in general, but like. I, I feel like, yeah, anyway, I was just sad, so have a good one, I'm out.